Hello guys, it's me Lunar. Welcome back to another video for Red Dead Redemption 2. In this one I'm covering how to get Algernon's pistol and the exotic hat you can see in the video by completing the 5 duchess and other animal quests requiring you to find 182 exotic items. I won't lie, this quest is long and it's 0% fun, probably the worst part of the game because it's so boring to do, but if you're like me and love 100%ing a game then persevere and you will get what you need and I will give you all the info I found which will save you plenty of time as well. I'm not going to show you me picking up all 182 items because the video was going to take over an hour and I don't like to cover videos that are longer than 20 minutes, but I do show the more difficult things. Warning, before you start, there are three things that you need to know, bugs related to the quest that you could have problems with. If you collect exotics, they do disappear from your inventory during chapter 5 and then again permanently in chapter 6. So either complete this in chapter 4 or you can do it after chapter 6. But don't start it in chapter 4, collect some of them and then move on to chapter 5 or you will have problems. There's a bug with the Akuna Star Orchid where if you pick up two of them, the rest of them will disappear. But that only happens if you do it before starting Duchess and Other Animals Part 3. So whatever you do, don't collect any Akuna Star Orchids in game until you have the quest for it, otherwise you might not be able to do the mission. If you've already picked up two and the rest of them have disappeared, then unfortunately you might have to wait for there to be a bug fix for this one in order to finish the quest. I'm still a little uncertain whether this bug affects everyone. Finally, some of the orchids may be glitched where they spawn vanilla flowers instead of the orchid in the right position, but there are more than you need on the map anyway, so just move on if that happens. However, I have marked in the video on the map the flowers that I had this problem with. So guys, let's jump into it. If the video is helpful, a like is very much appreciated. First, start the mission during chapter 4 by talking to Algernon Wasp, then we're going to kill us lots of birds. This is the longest part of the mission by far and you should get out of the way. Basically, what you're going to do is travel to the locations I show you, kill the birds you need to, and go to sleep for as long as possible to reset the bird spawns and then repeat. Now, this is not the way I did it, it's not the original method I was going to use for the video. However, after spending 15 hours over two days trying to find birds myself, I finally narrowed it down to three locations that spawn all three birds the most. Hopefully, you can avoid hours and hours of searching like I had to do. The first location is here, the location on the map, a group of islands just above Saint Denis. Here, for me, the first time I came here discovered tons of birds, over 30 herons, which is going to save you hours of searching, five spoonbills and a few egrets. You only need 20 herons for the mission, and instead of spending the seven hours or so I did searching, you can get them all in one location, assuming you can kill all those birds before they fly away. Although keep in mind that the birds might not spawn here the first time you come. The next location is the river bend in the bayou. As you can see from this map, I have found loads of different ones here. From the video, just looking around, there's not as many as the first place we checked, but birds spawn here in this location or the surrounded wooded area every single time for me, so it's a great place to come for egrets, spoonbills and heron especially. Our final location is the group of islands to the bottom of the map. While all three birds spawn here, it's mostly egrets that do and the occasional spoonbill, herons very rarely. On this train track here, just looking around, there are six egrets, which is half of what you need, so a perfect spot to come. After checking out all three locations, return to camp, sleep for a day at least, and repeat. I feel like sleeping for longer gives you a better chance of respawning birds, but they do respawn after just 24 hours. Some things to know, very rarely will birds spawn at all three locations at once. I had birds at two of the three spots once, usually only one of the locations had birds though. However, every single time you travel to one of these three locations, there will be birds there, and usually quite a lot of them. If you go to one place and there's no birds, just quickly move on to the next one and then sleep. It doesn't matter what condition the birds are in, so you want to kill them with the sniper rifle you can. And the difficult part of all of this is when you have to shoot one bird, of course all the other birds in the area will fly away. So getting more than one bird at a time is a challenge, but make sure to use your deadite to take advantage of that. But guys, I had a lot of problems trying to find the birds in game. I have seen other people comment that they cannot find these birds, but these three locations usually have tons and tons and it will save you hours and hours of searching. But I think that covers everything you need to know for egrets, spoonbills and herons. It's going to take quite a while to do, but hopefully nowhere near the 15 hours it took me. And remember, you need 5 little, 5 reddish and 5 snowy egrets, 20 herons and 30 spoonbills, so make sure you collect them all. And once you do, we can move on to starting to collect orchids. Starting on the first mission. To complete mission 1 of Duchess and Other Animals, we need to find 15 Lady of the Night orchids to go with our egrets. And they are in fixed locations, so you can't just farm one location, you will need to discover them on the map. I will show you the first couple, 
But for the rest of them, you can look at the map you can see on screen. I have dots of the exact locations and where to find them. But these 15 are exactly where they are on the map. And there are 21 different dots on the map and you only need 15 of them. So if you can't find one, then just move on to the next. But for the first one, we were going to go here, go to the first location and exactly where the dot is, look around. The orchid is in the tree. All 15 Lady of the Night orchids are in the trees. The next one is just across the road again where the dot was and once you pick that up the next one is just a little bit north but one thing to remember is if you're having trouble of course you can use your eagle vision to help you see you have to be looking directly at it for the eagle vision to work so always check trees and then if you can't see them go to the other side of the trees and look back the way to make sure you didn't just walk past it so now you have to go through all these highlighted dots and pick 15 orchids it should only take you 10 minutes or so to do because this part of the mission is really easy and once you're done return to algernon wasp to start part two Part two, hopefully you have your 20 herons already, and now we only need to find seven lady slipper orchids and 10 moccasin orchids. For the lady slipper orchids, we're heading right to the west of the map, west of Strawberry to Big Valley. The lady slipper orchids look like this. I will show you the first couple and then you can go to where they are on the map to get the rest. One of them, you will have to clear out a enemy stronghold in order to get the orchid, or you could try sneaking, but it didn't work for me. Our final part of this mission, we need to find 10 moccasin orchids. These are a little tricky to find as they grow in the ground, so they're really difficult to spot. And to be honest, while there looks like there's a lot on the map, the 10 that are in the small town Butcher's Creek, you would think it would be easy to get them in a few minutes, but half of them are really tricky to spot. And so I found it easier just to get the ones lying randomly around. Once done, return to Algernon Wasp to start part 3, find 25 Gator Eggs, 3 Acuna Star Orchids, 7 Cigar Orchids, and 5 Ghost Orchids. The Gator Eggs are really easy to do. Exactly where I've marked on the map, you will find Gator Egg Nests. I've shown you the first couple in the bayou to show you what to look for. Using your eagle eye, they're pretty difficult to miss. Just travel around the marked locations and pick them up until you have 25. It sounds a lot, but some of the nests have three. I picked up one that had four and another that had five. Getting 25, you only need to visit around seven or eight nests. Next is the Akuna's Star Orchid. You only need to find three Akuna Star Orchids and there are three right next to each other on the island above Saint Denis where we collected some of the birds. But as I said at the start of the video, these can be bugged for some people. And it's usually if you collect two of them before you start Duchess and Other Animals Part 3. So since it's bugged, make sure to save before and after collecting any of these orchids. But hopefully you shouldn't have a problem if you've started this part of the mission. If you've picked them up previously before starting the mission and you can't find the final one, then you may have to wait for a bug fix to finish this one and you can't really go any further unfortunately. Although you can pick up the rest of the orchids and just wait for the bug fix to collect this final one.
Next, the Sakaar Orchids. They're super easy to find as they grow on trees in open fields. I have, as always, shown you the first couple of locations. The rest are on the map and you shouldn't have any problems finding these at the location. The final orchids are ghost orchids. You only need five of them and they're located on the islands down at the bottom of the map. Again, they're really easy to find and they're all right next to each other. In fact, for this one, I picked all of them up straight away and I showed you where to get all five because you can get them all really, really quickly. Once you're done, you can return to Algernon to start part four. Part four of Duchess and other animals, you should hopefully have your 30 spoon bills already caught. That means we really don't have much left to do. In this chapter, we need to find 30 spoon bills, five night scented orchids, 10 rat tail orchids, and five spider orchids. And keep in mind, there are quite a few bugs in this one, so make sure to save often. We'll start with the rat tails and we need 10. Go to where I am on the map and I will show you what to look for. All 10 of these are practically right next to each other and there's a lot more lying around, so you shouldn't have too much problems trying to find them. However, some of these seem to be bugged and they don't show up. I've marked on the map in red the couple that didn't appear for me, even though they should be there. If you can't find them in the location, then just move on. Like I said, there are plenty to find. Next, spider orchids. We need five and there should be 10 spawn locations here at the river bend. However, five of them, as you can see on the map that I've marked in red, are bugged and spawn the wrong thing for me. And I'm not saying it'll be the same for you, but that is the case in my game. They spawn vanilla flowers, so the five locations on the map that are left, fortunately, are the five that you need. All the spider orchids are in the trees, so of course they're really easy to find. Oh, 
mister. I'm desperate. Please help me. Our final orchid in this chapter, we need five night scented orchids. Head to the bottom of the map east of Braithwaite Manor. These are a little tricky to find. They are in trees, which makes it easier, but this is a heavily wooded area, so they can be tough to spot. Again, once you find that, you can return to Algernon Wasp to start chapter five. Part 5, we need 5 clamshells, 5 dragon mouth orchids, 5 queen orchids, and 10 sparrow egg orchids. We are going to start with the easiest ones, the clamshell. I started here on the map east of Caliga Hall. These orchids are easy to see because they grow on trees along the coast and there's very few trees in the area. The next one we need to find are the final orchids in the swamp, thank god, and these are really easy to find as well, more so than any other orchid in the swamp. I show you the location of the first one, then to get the second I placed a marker down in its rough location and I found it straight away. As I said, these are really easy to find. You should be able to get all five in just a few minutes. For our final 15 orchids, we are heading up north to Ansberg. Starting with the 10 Spado orchids, which are dotted all around here, I started right at the top beside the word Roanoke on the map. These flowers grow in the ground, so they are tough to spot, but they are exactly where the dots are on the map. Our final five orchids, the Dragonmouth orchids, again, ground flowers, found the first one for you. The rest are spread out, but they're really easy to spot. There's two right in the lake, so you can't really miss them. And once you pick all of those up, you are finally done and ready to head back to Algernon for our final rewards. Algernon's revolver and the exotic hat. Guys, another long video, but hopefully you found it useful for collecting two of the toughest items to get in game, the hat and the revolver. 
I could have made this video a lot more detailed by showing you how to pick up all 182 items, but hopefully you don't have any problems following the locations on the map. And I did show you what each of the orchids look like and where to find the first few so you knew what you were doing. Don't forget to subscribe for more Red Dead, including all the Red Dead online updates. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.